Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we're just going to be doing a wintry nail set i just have my little sister here and we're not really unboxing anything or like reviewing a product we're just going to get right into this nail set so i'm first going to start off with some nail prep i'm just going to be pushing back the cuticles <music> Next, I'm just going to be using this round cuticle drill bit and I'm going to work this around the cuticle area. Now I'm going to be trimming down the excess dead skin using my cuticle scissors. And then I'm just going to be smoothing out the free edge of the nails using my hand file. Next step is to remove the shine from all the nails and I'm just going to be using my fine grit sanding band. Okay, so I'm going to be using these not polished nail tips and I'm just going to glue them on with some KDS glue. Next, I'm going to be trimming them down using my tip cutters. Then I'm going to reshape them just a little bit. They're already pretty nicely shaped. And then I'm going to be removing the shine from the nail tips. Alright, so here are how the nails are looking so far. And the next step is to add on some base coat to all of the nails. Okay, so let's just get right into this poly gel application. So here's the nail set that I'm going to be recreating in this video. We're first gonna start on the pinky nail and I'm just gonna be making this a full nude nail. So I'm just using a McCart poly gel and I'm just gonna put a large bead of that on the entire nail and then smooth that out. The next nail that we're going to be doing is a French tip and I'm just starting off with the nude part of the nail and then I'm going to go ahead and start on with the tip of the nail. The tip of the nail is just glitter and I'm going to be encapsulating that. So I told you guys that I was going to be posting a week of videos from like Monday to Christmas but of course something had to happen. So I didn't post a video on Monday because I was just having a really like really bad problem with trying to upload the video. I could not upload the video. It took so long to load and usually the videos take 30 minutes to upload which is very quick and i completely took that for granted because the videos are taking me like seven hours to upload that is not right there's something wrong with that i tried everything i could think of to try and fix it nothing would work so i don't know if it's me i don't know if it's youtube i don't know what the issue is but every time i go to try and upload it it's just so slow i don't think it's my internet i mean i kind of have bad internet but i don't think it's the internet that like this has never happened before so i don't know how to fix it i was really sad on monday because i i told you guys that i was gonna post a video every day and then i just don't post a video when i was supposed to sorry i missed that upload i'm just gonna try my best to keep uploading every day until christmas at least now i know that it will actually upload it's just gonna take a long time <laughs>
Okay, so back to the nail sets. The middle finger, I just did a regular nude to white ombre. We're gonna be doing some nail art on that nail. It wasn't nail art in the end, it was nail stamping. And then onto the pointer finger, we're doing negative space. So at the cuticle area of the nail, we're doing a nude bead. We're just gonna have that be a straight line across the nail. And then at the tip of the nail, I'm doing white and I just went ahead and filed them to make sure all the lines were nice and straight. And then in the empty space, I added some glitter. And then I encapsulated it with some clear poly gel. And then I didn't show this, but on the thumbnail, I made that fully nude nail as well. Now we're just going to go back and encapsulate the ombre nail. Okay, and once all the poly gel is on the nails, I'm just gonna get reshaping them using my hand file and my Macartas collector. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did post the like announcement for the giveaway and all the instructions in my last video. So if you didn't enter, make sure you go check that out so you can enter the giveaway. The giveaway will end on the 24th and that's when I'll pick the winners. There's gonna be five winners. So yeah, make sure you go enter that giveaway. Let me know if you guys are doing anything fun for Christmas, if you guys are traveling or just any plans that you have, let me know. I love reading about what you guys have planned for your holidays for me we have a couple things planned we plan to have a christmas party at my older sister's house and then we're gonna have a christmas eve party the next day for the christmas eve party i want to do like ornament decorating so like make custom ornaments and we're also doing secret santa so there's just some fun stuff that i'm really excited for and honestly i have a lot of christmas wrapping to do left i just like wrote down all the gifts i got and i'm not even close to being done with wrapping and christmas is almost here i didn't really plan this very well and i'm still getting stuff like every day i'm getting like a few items more this is not good
We're gonna be starting on some nail art. So I'm gonna put a layer of top coat on the nails. This is the base for the nail art. That way if I mess up, I can easily just wipe it off. And on the pinky nail, we're doing a peppermint swirl design, but it's not really pepperminty because there's no red but it's still a swirl. This design wasn't really that hard because I had the reference picture. It did take some cleaning up and like, you know, redoing some lines, but I think it turned out really cute in the end. And then after I have the design all drawn on, before curing it, I went ahead and sprinkled some of this glitter on there. I love this glitter. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite glitters. It's just so pretty. And it looked really pretty with this nail set. So onto the next nail. For the French tip, I'm just outlining it in white and adding some like icicle um, design on there. I made them kind of squiggly. I would say not make them as squiggly as I did. Kind of make them more like straight sharp lines. So it looks more like an icicle. And then I also sprinkled some glitter on that. And then onto the middle finger, I wanted to hand draw these snowflakes, but I wasn't really copying the snowflakes from the pictures. I wanted to do my own and I didn't really have the right picture in my head, so they didn't really turn out that good. <laughs> So we went ahead and just did some stamping instead. And the stamping was just as fun and satisfying. <laughs> That's what I did. It was a lot easier. because I wanted to draw them on because I wanted to add on the glitter. And then on the thumbnail, I also just added some of these snowflakes as well. then onto the negative space nails we're doing that icicle design again put two straight white lines going across the nail because my lines with the poly gel was not very straight so i wanted to cover that up so i added these two white lines and then added some dots over the top line and then i added on some glitters again and that is pretty much all for the nail art i went ahead and just top coated the snowflake nails I'm going to be adding on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I think this is a really cute nail set. I love the icicle designs and the swirl designs, and I love the glitters that sprinkled into the white. I really like this nail set. It's definitely wintry, and I love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. In my next videos, I'm gonna try and do some more like traditional Christmas nail sets. So more like with red or something like that. Christmas design, I don't know. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Happy holidays! Bye.